Energetic day. I mean, we started early. We started at like 10 o'clock. Um, the numbers built at the day, as the day moved on, so that was really great. In the afternoon, they had a long picket line, were blocking both the entrances and exits, um, and actively like trying to pr um, convince people to not enter the building. Uh, sure, there's still people who are trying to cross the picket line, but we are doing our best to engage with them and sort of um, convince them to not cross it and not be a scab. You know, uh, going good overall. Yeah. Because we have been bargaining with the school for about eight months and before that we um, wanted to get recognition from the school as a union for about three and a half years. So this is a long time coming. Uh, it's basically a reaction to the school just being unwilling to recognize that student workers put in labor in the school and actually help make the school run. So especially in the bargaining process recently, uh, their responses to our economic demands have not been good at all. Uh, they've been really disappointing actually and our um, not commensurate with the amount of labor that the student workers are putting in at the school. So we feel like this step is actually really important to make them, to show to them just how much student workers are contributing to the running of the school and by causing this disruption in the working of the school, hopefully the admin, administration will see um, that we are more than just like 1% of the budget of the school, we contribute much more than that. In the end, being out here, you're laying a precedent for students who may benefit from the contract for years to come. Um, and I really think that that's what it's about. I think it's about um, making a better university for um, the graduate students and its workers. I think it's about creating a university in which it's easier for you to go out there and do your job because you're not worried about um, where's my next meal coming from, which is a real worry for some of the students here. Um, and more importantly, I just think that labor deserves support. In the end, um, the arc of history is one that is made by struggles and people moving forward and fighting for their rights, and I want to be a part of that. And it has to be an actual fight for the rights. It's not about convincing the other people, sort of with our words and with our nice, uh, you know, emails or letters. It's about actually showing with our actions um, what we mean and what we want. Just had a bunch of um, like uh, carpenters and middle workers show up, so like really, you know, genuine solidarity. Like a bunch of students and workers and other people in solidarity come out, so. Um, you know, I'm shouting myself hoarse, but I'm feeling extremely energized and excited by all that. Um, in terms of how we got here, uh, we had a bargaining session with the university administration that started around 6 last night um, and finished around 1 in the morning um, without uh, successfully resolving uh, the differences between us. Um, a large part of that time was taken up by the administration um, recognizing and remedying um, some incorrect costing that they had given us. Um, so that was disappointing. Um, but we're really focused on the things that matter to the membership. Um, and obviously healthcare is a really important part of that. Um, we have no support for healthcare whatsoever as student workers at the moment, which is not at all typical um, for peer institutions. Uh, and the university <laughs> is determined not to understand that fact. Um, so I think that's a really, that's something that's problematic at the moment um, from the administration's perspective. Um, yeah, and then there's also been like, really good support for um, the workers across the campus today. Um, so. We've had people not holding classes or holding them off campus. We've had, um, you know, people not crossing the picket line, which is amazing and, and really energizing. Um, and I think, you know, 
people get it. Um, this is like a huge amount of effort and we don't do it lightly. Um, yeah, so no, uh, feeling good at the end of day one. We have um, another bargaining session scheduled with the university for tomorrow evening at 6pm. We are always open to talk to them before that if they uh, have any kind of change of heart. Um, we're very much here to talk to them.